Hi, I'm Liv and today we're gonna to do my July TBR. Is it just me or is it crazy that we're in July right now? Like, I feel like it was May. Not even May, I feel like I was about to say January a minute ago. Like, I literally was about to say my January TBR. That is crazy. <laughs> I've not got loads of stuff on my TBR this month, but I got a few to try and get me on the track of my Goodreads again. I wanna have like a little guide, but I do wanna do a lot of mood reading as well but I don't want to have too much of like a set guide of what I need to read because then I sometimes panic and I don't read anything. So let's talk. I've got everything written down. I am prepped. So the first thing I want to read this month is The Last Star, which is by Rick Yancey, Fifth Wave. The Fifth Wave is a series about aliens. How do I explain this? Aliens have taken over in the Fifth Wave and they have done these phases. So one of them was sending a plague down to rid earth of humans to take over and every book there has been something so this is going to be the final installment of this series there has been the fifth wave infinite sea and then it's the last star the first book though was a five star for me and so basically we followed two characters really and one of them was being prepped to be a soldier to go against these aliens and the girl was trying to find her brother who had been taken and she is a great character and so was he and we were just watching these two people live completely separate lives until they met in the middle so good so fast paced and i was crying my eyes out really good book second book is like the aftermath of everything and are the aliens like what are they hiding and what do we truly know and what of what we know what is real and what isn't that's what that book was all about and it ended on like a massive like information it was like whoa this is a lot so i'm really excited to read the next book it's about 300 ish pages 300 and a bit so it's not even a big long read it's a dystopian which i do want to get some more dystopians read this month because i've only read one this year and i'm such a dystopian girly I'm very excited to read that i am hoping that it's going to be potentially be a 4.5 star the last one was a 4.5 and fifth wave was a five star for me so i'm really hoping it can be a 4.5 potentially the next book we have is the fear by charlie hickson so this book series this is book three in this series and this series is called the enemy <sighs> this series is zombies and it's dystopian and it is as dystopian as you can get it reminds me of if you've ever read michael grant's Gone series. It does remind me of that. It's very graphic, very brutal, very in your face, which I love. Very gory, very gruesome. It's very good. It's kind of third person. We see loads of perspectives of different people and it doesn't say at the beginning of the section whose perspective it is. It kind of just starts and you've got to kind of guess whose perspective it is the first few chapters because you're kind of not really figuring out who's who's who in each chapter. After you get past, I'd say like the first five, you really know who's who with the way people's minds are working and the way people talk, you really understand. It is set so well. So it's set in the UK and the first book was really set around London and everybody over a certain age got a virus which turned them into zombies now these zombies are not like the walking dead or anything these zombies are insane they know how to like bash down a door they're getting smarter every day and we don't know why but the way i describe them this is going to be very gross the way i describe them is a piece of rotting fruit like they have limbs falling off they have their stomachs exploding the less um humans they eat like the more their brains just like disintegrate they just lose their minds and they're obsessed with wanting to eat children it is so graphic and it's the fact that they want like the youngest possible like it's so messes with your head right up my street i love it <laughs> as i said this is the third book in the series it's just such a good series so far and i'm really enjoying it every book has been above a four star so i'm really hoping it's going to be good and i just need to read it next i've got a romance so i put down a part of your world by abby jimenez so this book is in a series it's in a three-part series as of right now um so the books are a part of your world yours truly and then just for the summer which has just come out Bit of a confession, I have read Just For The Summer, didn't know it was in a series. By series, I don't mean like 
a full-on series like the anime where you need to read the other books or even just like Chestnut Springs or anything where they're kind of standalones but they are interconnected it's nothing like that so the characters appear in all three books so I'm guessing in book two you see the characters from book one in book three we saw the characters from book two so I'm guessing in book one we'll see nobody obviously wow that took me a long time and then in book two i'm guessing we'll see the characters from book one but i do have book two i have yours truly but i have not read it and so i have actually got the audiobook for a part of your world so i'm going to read that and i am hopefully gonna like it i know it's a romance i literally know nothing about it and i'm pretty happy with that i guess i might try and find out what it's about but yours truly has already interested me just for the summer was brilliant i really love that book and i'm just i've got quite high hopes for it i feel like it's going to be a good book but i have that on audible ready next i've got the housemaid is watching by frida mcfadden this is a thriller i really want to read this like i don't even think you understand how much i want to read this so i finished reading the the housemaid series i don't know what it was i actually want to see because i know i've been wanting to read it since i finished them so i finished the housemaid secret and the housemaid i read them in march i read them in march and it was at the end of march and i really really wanted to read the next one i knew there was a new one coming out but i didn't know when so that recently came out in june and i have not got round to reading it yet i'm so excited i can't even put it into words so this one i do know a bit about this book follows on from the last book. So The Housemaid and The Housemaid's Secret were both set around our main character, I can't remember what her name was, but she was a nanny, a housemaid, and she had a dark secret. She'd been on the criminal list and she's been trying to get a job, but everyone's been turning her down until this one person doesn't turn her down, who is a mum and she's looking for a nanny. And there's loads of stuff that happens like infidelity, um i can't think loads of secrets not everything is as it seems and in both books i was taken like taken aback the first book i kind of had a hint of what i thought would happen and the second book i had no clue and i was wrong with what i thought was going to happen i was like way off and i'm so happy i was i love when i'm wrong in a thriller because the answer is always better than what i'm thinking so the next one i'm really excited for this one i know that she has moved to a new town with somebody and the housemaids and the neighbors are very strange but that's all i know i literally know nothing else and i want to keep it that way but i'm interested because the other two books were phenomenal last book i've got is done and dusted by is it lila sage so this book again i know literally nothing about this is about cowboys so as far as what i know from my memory <laughs> This is a cowboy book, I know that much. And it's brother's best friend. So this boy has always been around. He's always been irritating our main character, our female main character. And he's always kind of been part of the family, but he's always been like bantery with her. And he's always been like, her brother and him have always been like close, like they are best friends. And so when she comes back home after having an injury, he just has to be there, doesn't he? He's annoying, he's a thorn in her side and they both have feelings though like he annoys her but he has weird feelings for her because she's come back and they're both adults now what what are these feelings happening right now it really looks good it looks like a typical cowboy romance i can't lie i'm expecting like to like it and maybe get a four star but i think it'll just be like a sweet read like you don't always want that hard hitting and crying your eyes out read like sometimes you just want to read something that's going to be a h-e-a ending happy ever after and just be like yeah cool that was a good book <laughs> sometimes you don't want to bawl your eyes out and be like oh my god let's come and think about that every day until the rest of my life like no no not always the vibe sometimes you just need chill those are all the books on my tbr right now i have got a goal of 12 books i'd like to read this month to get back on track with my goodreads don't know if that's going to happen we shall see this month so far i have actually read two books so i've i've started my July reads, which is amazing, it's phenomenal. When I get through a book within the first and the fifth of July, like, well, the first and the fifth of the, of the month, I know that I'm gonna read loads that month and I'm going away, I'm going to Greece soon, which means I can sit on some beds and just read, which is just, it's the dream. When I went to Greece last time, I think I got through about three books or two books. When I went away a few weeks ago, 
I got through three books. Not too bad, but we can do better. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and do that stuff, and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Tell me if you have liked or don't like the audio or the new editing style or anything, because I have done new editing software, which I'm preferring, but I just need to know about audio levels and stuff, if that's all okay. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys pretty soon. I am so cozy, I might actually have a nap for a bit. <laughs> do you, when's this growing up? I think I'll see you on Thursday. I upload every Thursday and Sunday, so I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.